So I've been wanting to give a tiny little update about my new job, how is it going. Yeah, just give you an update about how I'm doing because of my other experience with Kaiser and stuff. And you know, for those of you that are curious, I kind of wanted to share my experience. So, do I like this new position? I don't love it, but I like it. <laughs> um, only be, and the only, I think the only downside about it is that I, I kept comp I kept saying you know I want a job where I don't have to do any really like face to face interaction with any clients and things like that I think I'm kind of like over that like I kind of want like a barrier now and now I legit have a barrier and the only time I've ever ever, ever really communicate with anyone is with my coworkers during lunch and when I'm training and sometimes chit chatting with coworkers that are that are across from my cubicle but other than that. I'm not really communicating I'm kind of just looking at the computer screen doing my work there's a lot of there's a lot of to do's that you need to do depending on what you're doing with your caseload and what you're doing that day or what's due and all that all that stuff right so that's I think that's the only downside about it but other than that the workload is not hard there is a lot to it I mean a lot a lot of things that is that that for someone who has you know of average memory it could take about maybe a year or two to for you to really memorize everything and then even at that it's a lot that like you're most likely not gonna remember everything but they keep, they keep saying like as long as you know where to look for the answers because there's like so much um, information and databases that you can look into to be like okay I have this 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 let me read the policy to see what I need to do in regards to closing this case and how to handle this case so it's it's I can see a difference in regards to my memory too. I can see how easy it is for me to remember phone numbers, names. It's made a big difference that I don't smoke too. Um, but overall, I, I like the job. I can see myself doing this for a couple of years. I don't know if I can see myself staying here and doing it and retire there because I'm already kind of getting a little antsy of like, oh, like, like I get um, this is perada, like. I'm doing a lot of repetitive work where I need so, uh, just a little bit of change where I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm, it's it's boring. <laughs> so I guess that's the beauty of having a different caseload and dealing with different people and personalities because you don't really get bored. And I get bored and I get like, oh, like I wanna do stuff. So that's why I find myself like doing other things, taking small breaks to kind of get myself out of that boredness. So, but other than that, everything's great. <laughs> I like the schedule. I like how you're able to pick and choose um, what time you want to come in. Um, as long as you not notify your manager, you're good to go. You can constantly change your schedule. Um, like I said, as long as you notify your manager and you communicate, you can telework too, which you can work from home once um, I pass my one year probation. So two days out of the week, I can work from home, which is great. There's other perks to it too, so but that's the logistics of everything. A little summary of what's going on with my current job, and to compare it to Kaiser, I definitely do like it because with management, the people I work with, they're really really nice. They're super supportive. They help out a lot. They they're willing to answer your questions. Everybody's just super nice and helpful, which is the complete opposite of what I was getting. At Kaiser, um, there was a handful of people that were, that were really nice at Kaiser, but on average, like everybody was not really nice and not wanting to be very helpful, and they just expected for you to learn everything fucking quick and easy um, when they weren't even consistent with their policies and rules and the sites that I was going to, even though it was the same department. So, <laughs> and so that's that. That was the downside about working there, and. As I mentioned before, maybe it's different in other places, other Kaisers, but that's the plus side about working in this new department, in this new place, is that they're very consistent, they're nice people, and they don't have huge high expectations of you expecting to remember everything. As long as you write your notes and the things that you need to know and you know where to look for for those answers, in time you're just going to get faster and in time you'll be able to maintain your caseload at a low low number because they're expecting you to not have a high high caseload 
They're expecting you to to learn how to case your clothes, your case, close your cases effectively. So that's about it. I know this is this was pretty long. I don't know where, but where am I gonna put this on my stories? <laughs> I'm just gonna make a small video. I don't know.